Hi everyone, Merry Vlogmas Day 2. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my nighttime routine with my two toddlers. If you're new here, I am a full-time working mom. My kids go to daycare during the day. So we just got home. It was about 4.40 and the first thing that we do is the kids wash their hands. Quinn right there is almost two years old, so she is very, very independent. She wants to do everything by herself, so it can be uh, very time consuming to do very simple activities. Um, Chase is about three and a half years old, so he's, you know, doing everything on his own anyway. He washed his hands really well. So after we do that, I am going to start making dinner. It's 4.50 and I'm just doing a very simple mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. And while I start making dinner, the kids are just going to watch something on like YouTube or Paramount Plus. They're usually really tired by the end of the day, so they're a little less rambunctious. Um, tonight, I know it's not the healthiest meal, but I am no chef. And sometimes we just got to do the basic mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. And the kids love it, so I don't feel bad. I've been trying to really get more healthy recipes together, but picky toddlers do not make it easy so I am just cutting up the chicken nuggets here they they only eat them if they're cut up and I guess it's easier because then they cool down faster but this is what was for dinner tonight um, Pete was home so I'm talking to him over there <laughs> so there's Chase's dinner and I also cut up some blueberries Pete actually ordered these Christmas coloring books for the kids so they're gonna do some coloring a little bit later on and they're just, you know, hanging out together, eating dinner. So while they're doing that, I like to kind of knock out a bunch of the cleaning up so that we're, you know, I don't have a bunch of dishes at the end of the night. So I'm just washing all of the stuff that needs to be hand washed and making sure that I am kind of on track and getting things done so that when they're done with dinner, we're all set. So Chase finished his dinner and we still have Halloween candy. Do you guys have Halloween candy still? So I let Chase pick out one or two pieces if he eats all of his dinner as kind of a reward. Quinn is such a slow eater these days. She'll sit at that table for like 45 minutes if I let her. Anyway, dinner is done and I've cleaned up everything. I didn't show you that, but now we're heading up to take a bath. And this night I actually started the bath. Quinn has been like very particular. She wants me to walk upstairs with her, even if I'm not giving her a bath. And tonight my husband gave them the bath so that I could go downstairs. It's about six o'clock now and I am making a salad for myself. Um, I try to eat salads like three times a week and just, you know, even though they don't taste that great, I would like to be eating other things. I try to stay healthy and on track. So I just made um, a romaine salad with some hard boiled eggs. I put some olives in there and some red roasted peppers. I also put in some croutons and then I made this like chipotle dressing that is so good. So um, Pete's giving the kid kids a bath and I'm just going to take my time and eat dinner while I can before they come down. I usually, this is only like 10 minutes, so I kind of have to shovel the food in my mouth, but we like to divide and conquer at night so that each one of us has a little bit of like quiet time to eat dinner without the kids like up our tails. Um, so Pete is coloring with the kids in those Christmas coloring books. And um, yeah, obviously I'm filming, but I go back and forth between like hanging out with them. And then Quinn usually likes to join me for dinner. <laughs> there she is coloring. And um, she likes to watch me eat dinner. And then Pete is eating dinner right now. So we're kind of like all over the place. Pete and I sometimes eat dinner together, but it's usually just a struggle because the kids want one of our attention. So it's hard to do that. Um, there's Pete. Now it's about seven o'clock and I have cleaned up both me and Pete's dinners and I'm just, you know, wiping down the counter and done cleaning everything up. I am going to run in and take a shower and change into my comfy clothes. I Do you guys do this? I have like a comfy outfit before I change into my pajamas. Does anyone else do that? I just, I don't know. I like to do that for some reason. Anyway, while I was in the shower, Pete was hanging out with the kids and he likes to do this thing where he puts them in these little uh, baskets here and swings them around. So Quinn was mad because she wanted more. She wanted to play more and Pete said no. 
So I have so many clothes, baby clothes, my clothes, Pete's clothes, and so I donated them to Texas Paralyzed Veterans, which is an organization that came and just picked up the clothes for us. So Pete's just putting them out there. Next, it is 7.45 at this point and we are upstairs and Chase is grabbing the camera <laughs> and we are gonna brush our teeth and kind of get the bedtime routine started. So I am just putting our little foam on these U-shaped toothbrushes, which I really like because they're easy for the kids to brush their teeth. Chase, look at him. He is going to town. He was doing a great job and really getting all of those, you know, sugar bugs out of his teeth and very proud of himself. And Quinn does well. Also, so we're finishing brushing up our teeth right here. <laughs> look at Quinn. She's like, why is this camera in the bathroom? She's waving a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we're finishing up here and then we're going to go into Chase's room and read some stories. The kids love to have a bedtime story and we actually, Chase loves The Night Before Christmas and he can recite that book like by heart, which is very impressive if I do say so myself. But um, there's Quinn. She's bringing uh, that book over to read. And Chase is reading another book. They like to each read a book with one of us. So we're kind of both reading at the same time. So it gets a little bit weird, but Quinn doesn't really understand what's going on with the actual story. And she just likes to point to stuff, which is really cute. Next, we're just going to say goodnight. Quinn says goodnight to Pete. And they always, Quinn and Chase always give each other a little hug to say goodnight as well, which is so cute. And now Quinn's new thing is to close Chase's bedroom door, which Chase actually doesn't like. She's also trying to lock the door, lock them in. <laughs> but I tell her that it's time to go to bed. So I just go in and put her sound machine on. And then our little ritual is to give each other hugs and kisses. And then I usually sing her a song in the dark and then put her down to bed. So she was ready for that and she wanted to turn the lights off. So that was that. Then I go into Chase's room and he gives both of us a big hug and a kiss and we kind of just say goodnight to him. He is such a sweet little boy, but he is very particular. So I put him in his bed and he wanted to get into his bed by himself. So he had to do that. Um, next we go downstairs and I think Pete went to take a shower or something. But at this point I got a couple little Lindor chocolates for dessert and I lit a candle, set the mood, wind down myself. I'm going to hang out on the couch and just relax and watch TV. And that is the end of the night. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.